The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, I have two very funny people. First, he is the funniest member in my entire family, my brother, Mr. Clayton. Slash Fred. Woo! Glad to be back. Yes, sir. Is that your last name, Slash Fred? Yeah. Uh, slash is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's badass. That's real badass. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, he's back. The 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Welcome back, Jeremy. Happy birthday, America. That's right. Hello, yeah. Fred. Yeah, Fuck you, you Scotty. <laughs> I'll it's, take it. It's like you never left, man. <laughs> Never. But I did. Yeah, you did. But I did, and I, yet, for some reason, keep coming back. I know, because you have a little bit of fun. You just got to admit it. Very little bit. Very, very little bit. I think it's just that, like, the expiration on the jokes that you used to have against me, they've kind of run their course, so you have to come on the show and make some new ones targeted towards me so they're, you know, fresh. No, that's not hard, coming up with jokes about you. <laughs> okay. I, I do still spend most of my day just thinking bad shit about you. <laughs> okay. And those were never jokes. Oh, they're real things. Yeah. Now we know. Oh, man. yeah. The okay. uh, the the fun that I have on this show in in physics, mm -hmm. the the smallest like thing that you can break anything of size down is called a a plank width. Oh, okay. A plank length. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, the smallest fraction of time that you can divide is a uh, is a plank time. Is oh, what okay. they call okay. it. There's right. there's like more plank times in one second than there have been seconds since the Big Bang. Oh, okay. Um, a plank fun is what I have on this show. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a long fucking way to go that, that was. just to insult you, but uh, people yeah. got educated a little bit. There's some <laughs> physics for you, fuckers. There we go. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a, a fun episode that we have for you today, and it is America's birthday. It is, it is July 4th, you know, a very important day in the, uh, the United States history. Even, Almost as important as Easter. Almost. Almost. Not quite. Uh, but... Uh, and it wasn't even fucking all signed on July 4th. It still bothers the shit out of me. No, but that's when it was uh, ratified. Ratified, yeah. correct. August 2nd was when it was all signed, just so you know. Uh, but anyways, great. Great. yeah, fucking great. <laughs> See, we're just, just we're an educational just show. Just a plank second. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so many plank times in that. <laughs> anyways, we've got a great episode. If this is the very first time you've listened to this podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me, and that's fine. Uh, but this is also an adult podcast. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend as many people as we possibly can so if you have thin skin you're in the wrong place get the fuck out of here thanks bye <sighs> all right well we've got a lot of week week recaps to get uh get to here in a second we've got a fun filled show overrated underrated like them love them or fuck them questions and preguntas a draft and it's always a shitty situation but we haven't seen either of you two fuckheads for a pretty long time it's been a minute, it's been a minute. It has. i will go that was by design Oh, I know. I know, especially for you. Mm -hmm. um, I had a, I will go first since uh, it's, you know, uh, I hadn't been very long for me. Uh, but uh, I'm really excited about the 4th of July uh, because I got a four-day weekend, so that means I got to do a lot of golf, and uh, it was a blast. Uh, I actually just got back from today, 
and I shot the best round of golf of my entire life. Had a person to witness it who played the shittiest round of golf of his entire life, which was pretty awesome. Uh, shot an 80, I'm which is pretty awesome. And I'm now that you've done that, who gives a shit? I know. I <laughs> so know. fucking what? That's right. Uh, but I'm really excited because uh, I also finished the documentary that came out on Netflix about the American Gladiators. I've heard that that's really good. It's very good. It's, it's very good. Don't spoil it, but... Uh, do they knock people off platforms? They sure do. Do they? Ooh. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. Uh, it was, By the way, Scotty, yeah. uh, just to go back to that, uh, I, I realize I just shit it on you, That's but okay. uh, I want to get a little more positive. They say that if you can break 80, mm -hmm. that that puts you in the top 1% of all golfers 1%. in the world. I know. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I didn't do it. I, I, I got to 80. But that's pretty fucking close. It's pretty close. And I had opportunities to to do that but i missed him i had a really bad uh hole on 17 and just fucked me i, I had i ended up doing a uh, a a snowman on uh wow. yeah it was a par five though it was a triple mm -hmm. bogey but it was bad a bad tee shot and a bad second shot dropped twice it was no bueno kids so. this is what we call instant regret yeah <laughs> i could have just went <laughs> right past could've, that just flown right just on by on. and uh, jesus christ i, I know sorry uh, but no but going back to american gladiators the documentary it's great there's a lot of stuff that even when you're watching it as a kid you're going, oh shit! I remember this gladiator. Where the fuck is he at? Why isn't he on the show anymore? And you and it gets into Nitro. that. Yeah. Oh man, he was my favorite. Him, him, and Laser were, were my two favorites. Uh, and uh, which one is the black dude? The big black dude. Gemini. Well, which Gemini. one? Uh, the two. main, the main one. The uh, they one, all look the same. The, to me. <laughs> <laughs> Great, Gemini. Uh, that's the twin. So yeah, the, they're both Gem Gemini. Gemini was the original big black guy, and he's awesome person. He's he's one of the guys that they interviewed. Uh, the other one that I remember and liked very much was Saber, and he was Saber. a big motherfucker. He was huge. Yeah, he was a big guy. Uh, you know who should be the next one? Who? Slash. Slash. Right here next to me. Okay. Dude, you're going to have to pump up. You're going to have to bolt. <laughs> All right. He's kind of lanky today. and wiry. Uh, but it was, very, it, was, it was very, very, very good. I really, really did enjoy it. Um, but, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I, I, I got to do what I wanted to do, which is I played golf with my wife. My wife has gotten significantly my better wife. at golf. My wife. She's gotten significantly better. She played very, very well the last couple of days. And so it, it is just She sick. already broke 80. No, she didn't do that. Oh, uh, on the front nine. But uh, God damn it, it's fun. It's it's been hotter than shit. It's it's hot. Yeah. It's hotter than fuck, and you're outside. But that just you know, sunburns and 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 fun doing the golf thing. So yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, Fred, it's been a while since you've been on the show. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, what's been with you? I mean, I just wish I could say I had as much fun as you, but uh, I didn't have a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I've been doing the lake. Uh, yep. I've gotten the boat out a few times. Given down to my sisters to hit their lake. Yeah, um, I know. I didn't play a lot of golf. People don't realize how white I trash know you, you are. Golf for two oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm the minority like classy, here. Though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're a white tra uh, upper middle class high white class, trash. White mm -hmm. trash. Yeah. That, okay. High, high high class, class white, white trash. trash. As you can tell by the t-shirt. That's right. <laughs> That's, that's what they call somebody who doesn't golf but still drives a Volvo station wagon. I yeah. want one of the diesel turbos. No, no, um, mine's gas. Uh, gas turbo. Oh, okay. gas it is turbo. All wheel drive. And diesel turbos are where it's at. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry to fucking disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> getting, a, getting a diesel turbo is my version of breaking 80. There you, yeah. there you go. No, we, uh, no, Fred actually is a pretty decent golfer. He he and I... Breaks uh, 80 all the time. Yeah, well... Not yet. My, not yet. That's, 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 that's getting there. My last hard. score was 88, so... That's pretty, good. That's pretty damn there. good, yeah. That's a lucky number in China. It is it? Is. I, I don't know. All these Chinese-themed uh, slot machines are <laughs> focused around the 88. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. All right. Now I know. And we'll get into that. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> um, but we, we golfed a couple of times. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we sure golfed, have. We golfed a, a private country club, uh, and we we golfed one of the courses that apparently not a people not a lot of people play. May have been some of the fucking fastest greens. I said I talked about oh, it last yeah. show. Yeah, it was miserable. Oh, it was miserable. It was like fucking playing on glass. It was ridiculous. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, well, what else? What else did you do? Because you got we got Fourth of July coming up. Why are you trying to think of his week for him? I know because most it's easier. Be, be, see, yeah, I'm, I'm trying because a lot of the times <laughs> make up a I'm story involved. For you. I'm, I'm 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 involved some of the time. So that's I'm true. Just, yeah, that's so, true. I don't so have any friends. So yeah, that's, well, that's neither why do I'm I. Here. Yeah, he jumped the fountain at Caesar's Palace on a unicycle, folks. <laughs> it's on YouTube. Go check it out. 
Just look oh, it's up. on unicycle too. Just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> look up slash Unitube. unicycle. <laughs> mm-hmm. You'll find it. Uh, anyway, uh, what else? I'm sorry. No, you're good. Uh, doing a lot of wedding planning. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's still a, a good year away, but we're getting into that. So we're starting. Oh, for your own. Yes, for my okay. own. Okay. No, yeah. I thought you had taken up a new hobby. You were a oh, pilot last no. I fucking heard. Hell no. <laughs> He just makes up all kinds of yeah. shit. Deep yeah. sea fishing, yeah. golfer, See? fucking pilot. What now they, he's a wedding planner. What do they know? <laughs> they don't know me. He saw that movie with J-Lo, and now he just thinks he can do it all. Well, I hope so. Next, I'm going to take up housekeeping. Wasn't sure. that your favorite thing to do with your with your wife? Plan your guys' wedding? No. No? No. Nope. <laughs> right up there with Christmas trees. Huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Decorating for Christmas and wedding. Planning your wedding. I Approach both the same way. <laughs> Get the fuck out of the way and just let it happen. <laughs> Who picked the colors, Jeremy? Not me. I don't know. Nothing. I don't even know. That we, I don't see colors, up. Scotty. Oh, you don't? You know that about me. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. <laughs> what did you have? You had to put something into it, didn't you? Nope. Nothing. My dong. <laughs> that night, yep. Well, that right. wasn't part of the wedding. So. Consummate that moment. Oh, no. It was, a, it was a traditional Japanese wedding, so yeah, it was. Okay. Did everybody watch? That's, what, that's Japanese oh. wedding. That's kind of thing. Yeah. Bukake. Bukake, yeah. <laughs> and well, that's sorry. where we smear the cake on each other's faces. Oh, Bukake. Yeah. yeah. Bukake. <laughs> Bukake. Mm hmm. Oh, that's new. <laughs> um, so how's it going? Play of the wedding and everything, Fred. Got any bouquet? Not, not that good. <laughs> so I'm doing something wrong, apparently. Uh, you should try. It sounds like a good time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't need to bring that up at the house. Yeah, my, my fiance will hear this episode. That's, so. that's true. <laughs> oh, is she a listener? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What oh, the yeah. fuck for? Just whatever friends I'm on. <laughs> yeah, you were marrying somebody cool. Yeah. She makes sure I don't talk shit on her. That's so. oh, yeah, that's she checks that, and balances. That's oh, right. She sounds cool. Mm-hmm. She's pretty fun. Mm. Oh God. Um, anything else, man? Not really. No, not really. Not really. Work. See family. You, you're trying to fly. Trying. Yeah. Trying to. We've been getting so, getting so much rain that I haven't been able to get up. That's so. so. Well, that, that sounds like a personal problem. You probably should keep that to yourself. All right, I will. Do okay. you sing that uh, R. Kelly song? What? I, I believe, believe I can, can fly. fly. Yeah. What about it? Do you sing that when no. you're <laughs> like when I you're don't taking know, I don't off? Know all the words. So. <laughs> it's just, it's just. That. I thought that was required in ground school. I... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, shit. Turns out all those pilots that I've worked for have been fucking yeah. lying to. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Over the PA announcer. That that's what they mm-hmm. have to. That's how they take off. Okay. Jeremy, it, it's a radio, Scotty. It's not a PA system. Did I say PA? You, you did. did. My apologies. That's what Derek does. Yeah, and that is what he does in between batters. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's doing. At he the sings stadium, that. he sings that song while they're batting. It's really a distraction, <laughs> but he does it for both sides. That's so right. Just on a loop. Jeremy, how yeah. the hell have you been, buddy? I've been fine, I guess. Yeah. Um, I uh, I'm gonna go go in the way way back machine here. Okay. Back to Father's Day. Oh, okay. Uh, I had to work that day. Well, didn't have to, but I chose to. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I work, it was on a Sunday, just like Father's Day usually is. Usually. And uh, Most when I work Sundays, I go in very early, so I get off at a reasonable hour. And uh, my wife, when I got home, my wife. was waiting for me with a card with uh, like 400 bucks in it. Nice. And decided she, we were going to the casino. Oh, oh um, wow. It's kind of like if you were to get your wife an Xbox for Mother's Day. <laughs> she got herself a gift, basically. Yeah. She took money out of our account to give to me so that we could go do what she wanted. And uh, I wound up hitting a $2,400 jackpot. Whoa! Wow. Yeah. Hey. That is far and away the biggest jackpot that nice. I've ever hit. Good for you. It's, it, I believe that's the first time for me personally that they've ever had to like stop the slot and come do paperwork and nice pay me out. so yeah that was pretty cool okay and it was on one of those fucking chinese machines <laughs> that centers around the 88 <laughs> cents so it is a fucking lucky number uh <laughs> is it your new lucky number sure is <laughs> good for you thanks yeah, yeah thanks. now you I get appreciate to that. now they can welcome you over to uh you know that, i just uh, need eight less now uh-huh yeah and be a top one percent mm-hmm uh, let's see. Um, here, though, now now speeding up to current times, I have uh, found myself with some uh, very rare time off of work for reasons that I don't really want to go into. Perfect. But uh, so yeah. I have had some time to myself to do some things that I wanted to do. So uh, did some woodworking. 
I, uh, what, what are you working with over there? <laughs> oh, dude, I fucking masturbated so many times. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Scoot this chair over. I'm, Scoot. Oh, you're he's in no a, danger. He's got I am his so, own bouquet. I am so <laughs> tapped out. <laughs> I think it would hurt to touch my penis right now. It's so sore. <laughs> it, my dick should be in shape by now. It should be fucking ripped. It could be an American gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> what would it be called? Tinsel? Unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Great. That sounds awesome. Uh, no, my parents had given me this old beat up cedar chest yeah. a while back. And I was like, one of these days I'm going to refinish that. So I finally got around to doing that. And I wish I would have taken some before pictures of it because it came out really, really nice. Nice. Um, so I got to do that real fucking exciting. What's your uh, wife going to put in that? Uh, probably Christmas decorations, I'm sure. <laughs> just want to make sure. And cake. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's see. We uh, we went to the movies, saw the new Indiana Jones Oh, good movie. God. Uh, please, please. please. Uh, okay, here's here's my problem. Okay. All right. Okay, there's a few things. One, Harrison <laughs> Ford, undoubtedly one of the great actors of all time when he was in his 30s but he's in his 80s now <laughs> and he just can't fucking do it Bingo. and and you can tell he doesn't really want to be there especially on like when he plays han solo or indiana jones yeah. or any of those those characters that people geek out on he fucking hates it mm -hmm. he just comes across as a crotchety old fuck um two this uh the 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 fucking what do they call it the what the the thing that they're surrounding themselves Something around destiny the dial of destiny yeah. it's it's the antikythera mechanism i don't even know what that is i do okay i have seen several documentaries about it it's it's this thing that they found off the coast of antikythera greece okay that is so ahead of its time it's they i don't want to even go into the whole process of how i think i do know what you're talking about it. it's it's a it's a piece of corroded fucking yeah. bronze that and and wood that was basically a calculator yeah uh, okay. uh, it was a an analog computer that calculated the positions of the heavenly bodies and it was so far ahead of its time they wouldn't find anything that used gears or anything for another thousand years uh, as far as archaeologically speaking mm -hmm. however that was never believed to have any sort of mystical powers or <laughs> anything like that. And that's what they assigned to it in this. Nice. They did very little research on it. I mean, I could get like the, the Ark of the Covenant, the Holy Grail. Those things had supposed like magical Magic powers? divine yeah. powers. Oh, yeah. this, this doesn't. It was a fucking calendar. Yeah. Basically a, a geared calendar. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, I don't. Um, but what date did it point to, Jeremy? Don't even. Yeah. Is it are, are you thinking of the Mayan calendar? Or the predicted the end of the world? Sure. Which, by the way, that thing, have you ever seen that thing? Yeah. Um, you know, it, it didn't necessarily predict the end of the world. It just came to an end. Yeah. I've had several calendars. They all <laughs> end. <laughs> that doesn't mean that the earth, the, the world is going to end oh. on that day. It just means it's time to buy a new fucking calendar. I know. The fact that they had one that went to 2012. Pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive yeah. given that they've been you know, out of business for a while. Part of, part of me kind of wishes the world did it back in 2012 as crazy as this shit's gone. Uh, 2012 is way in the future, Scotty. Uh, a long ways in the future. Oh, sorry. 2012 is what I just meant to say. Mm -hmm. December 12th. Yeah. December no, 12th. 21st. Oh, it was, was it? December 21st. Yeah. 12, <clears throat> 21, 12. Yeah, oh, you're right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, and then the other way that I've passed my time other than masturbating mm -hmm. and kind of simultaneously. Uh, I got the uh, free one-week pass for Apple TV, and I binge-watched all of Ted Lasso. Yeah. Dude. Awesome. It's fucking good. Awesome. Yeah. It really is. God damn it. I've got Apple TV. I'll share. Okay. I told you before. Uh, it, it is so different than basically any other show. It finds a way to genuinely be funny without being mean. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... It's it's just it's unlike anything that I've seen in a long fucking time, and so well done. And you watch the first episode, and you are hit. Hooked. Oh yeah. Hooked. Okay. Yeah. I will. I, okay. I, I will. I will do that then. Uh, I, I did. Uh, I did start watching another show that came out on Netflix. It's it's older, but I am me and my wife are hooked as well. Buck did Rogers. You, no. Did oh. you ever? Did you ever? Did you ever watch Suits whenever it was out? Uh, I think I might have watched half an episode I, once, but. I, 
I love okay. All of my favorite movies are are attorney stuff, uh, courtroom stuff, all of that. That kind of stuff just kind of gets me, I guess. And one of them like a fucking phenom, just like a prodigy kind of. He has he has photograph he has photographic memory in, at a level that is. Uh, oh shit! I don't even and know what you call pass it. Pass the bar without going to law school. Or yes, some shit. I've seen the, yes. like TikTok clips of it. Yeah, where it, people act like that's a real <clears throat> fucking thing and it should inspire you. What having that kind of memory? That they do. No, have, they have show it. scenes oh. from suits where this guy's oh. like schooling people, and yeah. it's like, yeah, that's not how real world works. And the, yeah, exactly. And the, and a lot of the like loopholes that they found, find and shit like that is not real. Right. Um, but as, as far as a show that kind of keeps you hooked. Does a pretty good job, I gotta say. You kind of do fall in love with the, the characters, but one of the character characters is played by Meghan Markle. Oh yeah, right. Uh, in that, I, well, people I, forget I, she was an actress. Right, uh, she was an actress, a legit one. Yeah, right. And uh, I, I remember and know, well, I know all of the drama that that's out there in the ether on social media with her and her prince, who the fuck. But in this show, she's fucking hot. She's really fucking hot. There, there's a reason that, that the future Christ. king of England married, married her. her. Oh my god, she's fucking hot. And uh, and then I hear her talk in real life, and I want to punch her. So then she's not anymore. And so I just I just want to stick to the show. I like her in the show. People are real people outside of what the, the shows that they are. They play characters, and they're hot. And in real life, they're not. That's what it came to. Well, I mean, uh, God damn it! Who was the fucker that that uh, that taught us when you're hot, you're hot; when you're not. You're hot. <laughs> it, it was the uh, God damn it! The I, guy who played Snowman and Smoking the Bandit. Why can't I think of his I fucking don't know, name? But I can hear the song. Uh, <laughs> when you're hot, you're hot. He when for not, for the not. younger kids out there, he played the the bad guy coach on the Water Boy. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. God uh, damn it! Why can't I, I fucking? I don't. I don't know. I, I can look it up. For please, you. please, and thank you. <laughs> Just, I this can't. rage is giving me an erection. <laughs> oh, is it really? Mm -hmm. And it hurts. Oh, fine. That's fine. I can hear the song playing over in my head anyway. Give me the initials. Okay, I could do that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, I Jerry Reed. Wow, I didn't even get there. Wow, thank Re you. Yeah, Red Bell, you. Very good, Jerry Reed. Congratulations, yep. you win. All right. Was well, that it? Is that it? What do I win? Do I get to leave? No. Huh. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, we do have a great show. Well, that to was a get plank to. fun, huh? That was a plank fun. Yeah, it was. It was a lot of fun. It's good to see. It's that good plank. to hear about you guys and where you guys been over the last several weeks. They miss you. People More importantly, miss you. where I haven't been. Okay. All over the place. Mm -hmm. In your yeah, most places actually, I have not been there. In your in your jungle region. Oh, it's been all over the house. I'm sure it has. Including on a couple of Christmas trees. <laughs> Full, and in a cedar chest. <laughs> fully erect or at half mass. That's what I used instead of polyurethane <laughs> on one coat. Okay, that, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully you're full erect and not not half half mass. And I am drinking beer today. Yes. Uh, I The one that I started on was my second beer of 2023. This is my third. Congratulations. So this could get out of hand real quick because my <laughs> tolerance is pretty fucking low right now. That's awesome. <laughs> But uh, we're celebrating America's birthday. That's right. That's exactly what we're doing. Uh, but before we get on to the fun stuff in this week's episode, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, which is BattleCornCarePackages.com. Do us a favor. Go check them out. They're trying to raise $25,000 for their gala that they have coming up here in August. So it's coming up even faster and quicker. Um, really want to help them out. They're a good friend of the show. Um, go check out Curtis, his family, in, uh, in honor of their daughter, JC, who passed away. Uh, really, really good thing that they do for kids going through those particular situations. So go check them out at battlecorncarepackages.com. Fun stuff. Let's get, our, let's get to the fun stuff. The current events that we have for this week. First things first, we got to talk about it, and it's not on your guys' sheet, but I don't care because I'm a golf fan. But Ricky Fowler wins his very first uh, tournament in f over four and a half years. Pretty Ricky Fowler? Pretty Ricky. Ricky. Ricky Fowler. Ricky! I, me, and, me and a buddy were watching golf, but Ricky Fowler is... I don't know is, who that is. You, know who, you don't know who Ricky Fowler is? I don't watch a lot of golf anymore. You don't have to. The dude dresses in all orange. He went to Oklahoma State. And is so, he a hunter? Is he uh, out there with a shotgun? Absolutely. Got just, pheasants and doves? Just out of the sky. It's sure. fucking amazing. No, it was, uh, it was an awesome fashion. He went into... Um, uh, the uh, the golf version of extra innings. It's called mm. playoff. Uh, yeah, I, I get. I, I understand golf. golf. Okay. I just haven't watched. I don't know I'm the just current make, players. Just making sure. 
Uh, it went down to Ricky, another guy, and a guy who I can't fucking stand, which is Colin Morikawa. And uh, he ended up making a birdie putt on the 18th uh, after they finished and uh, won hit the Rocket Mortgage Tournament, I guess is what it's called. But I, I thought it was pretty awesome. It was, good. it was a lot of fun to watch. So hats off to Ricky. I love Ricky. He's, he's awesome. Uh, okay. But anyways, now we can move on to stuff that you guys actually give a shit about. Uh, there have been many NFL players suspended for breaking the NFL's gambling policy as of late. Did you hear about this? I nope. guess not. You did not. I was busy watching Ted Lasso and jerking it. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, there's been several players that have been basically caught making some kind of wagers about um, about games during games and things like that with each other. Uh, that I don't know. I don't know that all of the details because it keeps on coming out one after another. Um, but it's really hard to follow who's telling the truth, considering that ESPN is letting go of shit loads of people right now. So. Uh, yeah, it's getting a little crazy in the sporting world as far as anchors and analysts and stuff like that. They're they're firing quite a few people. <clears throat> I mean, I know, I know, uh, like Van Gundy's gone. I know that's one of the big ones. Joe Montana's gone. Um, no, not Joe Montana. I was going to say, I don't recall him working for ESPN. No, Steve Young. Apologies. Oh, Steve okay. Young. I, I mix San Francisco 49ers quarterbacks, one or the other. Uh-huh. <coughs> I, I like but, to think of Joe Montana more as a chief, okay. and I think of, of Steve Young more as a buccaneer, but whatever. Uh, whatever. Uh, but a lot of other analysts, uh, famous women analysts and things like that are getting fired. Uh, so it's kind of t- difficult because you can't, you don't really see the names that you're used to seeing as, as releasing information. But, yes, there are a whole bunch of NFL players who are going to be suspended, and it's like they're like six games. You know, simple stuff like that, which if you're gambling on a sport, most of the time, like, <laughs> you're done for a year or something. Yeah, I mean, if if it's something that they're doing with each other, like kangaroo court, inner okay. locker room kind of stuff, then that I don't really give a shit about. Okay. I mean, that's that's just them having trying to, to bring an extra element or just having fun on the sidelines. Sure. But if they're actually, like, placing bets – with sports books of or illegal sure. bookies or whatever. This is why I think that the whole decision with Pete Rose mm-hmm. is such an important one because it, it puts a message out to all of baseball. Mm-hmm. We ain't even going to let fucking Pete Rose off the hook, so don't even try this shit. And he's one of the best hitters of all time. The, I mean, he, I the most, so. well, the most hit. Yes, he has he, the most hits of all time. the most prolific hitter of all time. Okay, I'll, I'll um, go with you on that. But, yeah, I... I he, he he would otherwise be a for sure first fa- first ballot Hall of Famer, and he's not in the Hall of Fame, and so that sends a very strong message. Yeah, nobody gets away with this shit. Football up to this point really never has like made a big deal about it. So mm-hmm. I don't I don't know if people just didn't get the message, or you know, because I know sports gambling is is a lot more available now. Oh, big time online and stuff that than what it used to be. So. Yeah, I, I I don't know, but uh, they pay those guys enough money. They don't need extra. <laughs> well, one of them actually said, and I don't know who it was, but one of them actually said that we're going out there and gambling with our lives. We should be able to, and it's the... Uh, Drama much? Yeah, Jesus no Christ. Sh- no shit. Dude, Come I, on, man. They they have taken every precaution to make sure that nothing yeah. happens to you anymore. Yeah. Hamlin is just fine, so just let it go. Yeah, yeah. One guy in the history one of football... One guy died has, on the field. Yeah. Calm in, in my entire down. lifetime... In a sport that looks like everybody should die. So, yeah, I, I think they're doing all right. They're doing okay. Not too bad. And you're being compensated handsomely for it. This is true. Um, anyways. And you <laughs> chose to do it. They're not. It's not like you're a fucking slave gladiator that they put into a big <laughs> ring and forcing you to go out there and fight to the <laughs> death, you and jerk off. You, shit. you, you could <laughs> quit anytime you want. This is true. Uh, but anyways, okay, moving on. Let's get some controversy here. Um, Megan Rapinoe, who's been in social media for quite often or for quite some time, she's a female soccer player. Um, friends with Sue Bird, who is a WNBA player who retired and uh, I believe got uh, her jersey retired up in the rafters where nobody sits in. Uh, but she made a tweet. Uh, Megan Rapinoe did. Uh, Congratulations on, like, arguably the best career that anyone has ever had in the history of any sport ever. And that was about NBA or WNBA star Sue Bird. And uh, I'm going to point out her career stats just to just to have some kind of statistics to go on. Uh, She averaged 11.4 points per game. 
2.4 rebounds per game, 5.5 assists per game, and 1.2 steals per game. Um, you got anything to say about this at all? If somebody makes a comment like that, do you think she's being honest about this particular statement? She's pushing an agenda. Uh-huh. That's all that this is. She wants... she. People are under this belief, especially these very outspoken female athletes, sure. that they can will women's sports onto the country and force them sure. to accept it. If they just are strong enough with their words and shame enough people. And that all you're doing is making me want to watch you less. <laughs> 100%. Well, I mean, True. honestly, they come out and they insult your integrity. Yeah. And that... All that does with a guy like me anyway is make me dig my heels in and go, fuck you. Now I'm <laughs> never watching your shit. You want to call me fucking names and shit? I don't watch a lot of men's basketball. Anymore. In, me in, too, NBA, yeah. yeah, the season's over. So, uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I just, so the idea that I would watch women's basketball, and I, I certainly don't watch soccer of any kind with you know, exception of Ted Lasso. That was by far <laughs> most the so- most interesting <laughs> soccer's ever been to me because it's not mostly about soccer. Right. Um, but uh, no, it, this is such, I don't know. She's she's on a pedestal. Everybody knows where she stands uh-huh. on yeah, things. I think so. Anybody who gives a shit anyway right. knows where she stands and they know that she's completely full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> if I were Sue Bird, I would be like, keep my name out of your fucking mouth. <laughs> Because uh, Sue, Sue Bird was actually one of the more prolific WNBA players of all time. She won sure. a bunch of fucking championships. I know. Um, as far as the ladies go, she's really good. Yeah, pretty good for but the ladies. Yeah. One of the greatest careers of all time in anything ever? Probably not. No. No. I'd say that there's probably a lot more accolades for other athletes for if you're talking about any sport ever. And if you want to just go through the female athletes, I could probably go through MMA and ice skating before I'm even going to get close to the WNBA. In that I, I believe like in the world of college football, wasn't it, was it Rex Grossman, the most prolific passer in the history of college football? Something like we that. all see how well that went. That doesn't mean he was any good. Right. Didn't work out. Fred, have you ever watched a, a women's soccer game? Uh, college, yes. Yeah, did when you? When I was in college. When you were in college? Yes. Okay, any professional soccer? No. Okay. That being sure. said, I would like to see Sue Bird and Megan Rapinoe scissor each other. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all would. Uh, I no. just, man, never mind. No. That, never mind. That image just popped in my head. There and is I, no doubt which one's the dude in that relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to leave now. Never mind. I, I think that that's just something that... Uh, that you want. Uh, moving on, uh, this is just com- some kind of fun stuff that we can talk about, not sports related. Uh, but Disney announce- announces new vision for Star Wars movie series, highlighting Rey as the main character, forming a new Jedi Order. CEO Kathleen Kennedy pushing feminist ideology alongside recent Disney titles lately, and it's not working out good. Do we have an explanation for this? Have you seen this by any chance coming out? They have a new director that's uh, that's set aside that is going to be um, pushing Star Wars more political, I think, and I don't necessarily like it. Well, let's just be clear. Kathleen Kennedy, who is the head of Lucasfilm, Sorry, uh, wing head of, of Lucasfilm, of uh, Disney, uh, responsible for that Indiana Jones piece of shit that I just watched. So, uh, <laughs> um, no, I don't have a real high opinion of her anyway. Um, Neither do I. I don't know that... Every, I think we are very heavily influenced by YouTube videos and social media. I don't know that she was as responsible for Star Wars going to shit as what a lot of people want to put on her, but she is the head of the fucking department. Correct. So that does all kind of fall on her shoulders. And I, I don't understand why she continues to try to push an agenda that drives away the loyal fans that will follow star wars to the fucking end that's where i'm having an issue and i don't really care about her any of her stances i really don't but why are you trying to push some, or, or force feed us a pill down our throats and, and ruining something that we kind of go to these particular kinds of shows and movies to try to get out of that particular world that's the whole point and now we're just getting more of it and somehow this person thinks that it's going to be a successful idea the, the character of Rey and basically all of the, the sequels post-Return of the Jedi didn't work. They did For a lot of reasons. And the fact that Rey is a female 
had nothing to do with that. Very little to do with that. I agree. It was such a poorly developed character, a poorly written script. Just everything about it was wrong, and they should have just left it how it was. Uh, Even even, uh, Mark Hamill, whenever he was in the process of acting for uh, the later movies, uh, The Force Awakens was the one that I believe grossed the most. Um, because it was the and one it wasn't bad and, and it wasn't it, it basically set up the next two pretty well i i mm-hmm. thought and then they just tore them all down and then they just shit all over the plate it was pretty bad but even mark hamill whenever he was talking about um having to act and play uh luke he was like this is completely not luke's character he hated doing it he hated the script and he didn't have a really good time playing the rest of the in playing luke in the rest of the film because he's like this is not the character of luke and he never has been that way so i just i don't see the the more that they continue to do this kind of things the more money they're going to lose and i'm not really all that surprised fred you're a huge star wars fan yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, I mean, I, mean I mean, I think I think all of us are somewhat are nerds when it comes to this particular topic. Yeah. When when we're Star Wars fans, we've always been Star Wars fans. Mm-hmm. And what they're doing with these videos that they're coming out with movies, shows, and things like that, I'm really excited for uh, the one that's getting ready to come out. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, it's, Is that a musical? No, <laughs> no. Um, oh, shit, shit, <laughs> shit, shit, shit. No, it's, give me a lot of shit. Yeah, she was in. Uh, she was in Mandalorian. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sure. god damn it! See, uh, <laughs> see. It's not Bo-Katan. The uh, chick whatever. from Clerks Two, uh, <laughs> plays god. her. No, it may actually be Bo-Katan. I, I can't. No, remember. it's not Bo-Katan. Shit! I. Uh, it might be Bo-Katan actually. I, uh, yeah, I think. Anyways. It actually is. Um, but I'm I'm very very excited for it, and I think uh, no, it is not Bo-Katan. No, Bo-Katan is that Mandalorian chick that takes her mask yeah, off. That's right, that's right, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. right. um, you guys go. I'm gonna find it. <laughs> God damn it! As soon as you're almost there, I'm gonna come up with it. Right. I know. Uh, but I'm really excited for some of the Star Wars series that are come out because they look like they're going to be great. Mandalorian was awesome. I think that was a great series. At least all the way through, I thought it was pretty damn awesome. I didn't despise um, Boba Fett either. Oh, I did. Did you? Uh, Why did you hate? uh, Sorry. Oh, man. Thank God. You want to know why I hate Boba Fett? Why? Uh, Boba Fett was so cool because he was absolutely ruthless. Yeah, that's true. And then they made him into a giant teddy bear pussy. Yeah. Like, and, And I mean that together. He was the vagina of a teddy bear. <laughs> okay. A sub- Whatever the softest, most supple tissue that you can get out of plush material, yeah. that's what they made Boba Fett into. I was thinking of Ahsoka. That's what I was thinking of. Yes. That's right. and, it, it, and it looks fucking awesome. The actress who plays her. Uh, three names. I don't know. God damn Are it. Why do you do this all night? We're going to do this all God, night. Yes. Yeah, just, the beer is on. affecting me. <laughs> What, you got something else to talk about? I doubt it. I mean, I got other shit to do tonight besides look up everybody's name. Rosario Dawson. Okay, that's not who I was thinking of. But, but yes, you are absolutely right. It, it looks good. Why, why did I think she had uh, I don't names? know, because you're weird. Um, but yeah, it, it looks like it's a great thing, but I don't like what they're talking about doing. And I think that Disney films are actually kind of falling along that same line. The more crazy you get with certain ideals, pushing them into your product, the more it's going to make people not want to see it. And so that's kind of why I wish it would go back to the way it was. Just leave all that shit out of there and, and make it a good story, develop characters and go back to what star Wars really is. But the thing is, is I don't think they're going to do it. My my biggest problem with all of this kind of shit is it has nothing to do with the subject matter. It's the fact that they don't even really try on a plausible storyline or anything. It's almost like it was written by kindergartners, and they are banking on the diehard Star Wars fans will watch it, and they're going to make billions off of it. It's a mm-hmm. fucking cash grab, and it is so... I, I, it, there's There's no art to it. There's no creativity to it. It is just the most rudimentary, easy, on-the-surface, heavy-handed plot lines you can find, and I fucking hate that they're doing it, and I'm still going to probably watch it. I'm going to watch Ahsoka, no problem. You want to know why? Because John John Favreau is involved. That's why. That's why. Because he's an avid Star Star Wars fan, and and I think he did pretty awesome in Mandalorian. Mandalorian, he hit a home run, and then he struck out with Boba Fett. (laughs) That's okay. Half of of, uh, Kenobi. Oh, well. 
All right. Uh, but now we can move on to the last thing I wanted to talk about. And uh, this is sports talk, right? No, this is not sports talk. This is something that I found. And uh, this is legitimately an actual article. Um, but it, it's a it's a thing. Uh, it's about um, uh, butthole sunning. Mm-hmm. And it's uh, the, the article I pulled from it says, does your butthole need sunlight? Perineum sunning's gurus say yes is a modern health hack with ties to ancient Taoist practices. And in Taoism, the butthole is called the gate of life and death. This is a gateway where energy enters and exits the body. And with just 30 seconds of sun exposure to the gateway can enhance your libido and overall body energy. Jeremy, is this something that you think you could do? Okay. I'm going to go into this in depth, deep into the studio. <laughs> First off, the perineum is not the same as a butthole. No. Perineum is the taint. That's the taint. <laughs> so let's, let's just clear that up right now. <laughs> That's what it says. I have no idea where they're getting this other bullshit of what it will do for you or anything like that. That being said, it's kind of scientifically shown that it was intended to get sunlight on it. Really? And I'll tell you why. The discoloration around buttholes. People think that that's stained from shit. It is, it is not. It has a pigment called melanin in it, which, by the way, is the pigment that black people have. Uh, makes their skin so dark. Um, but it's also what makes them incredibly resistant to sunburn. Oh, okay. So the fact that there is so much melanin around the human rectum tells me it was probably meant to get hit by the sun. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what that's going to do for it, as its pigment will block out most everything. And you think I jerk off a lot now? Think of how it's going to be when I apply sunscreen to my dong and have to reapply every thirty minutes. That's, that's true. Uh, it's just thirty seconds. It says thirty seconds. Is what it says. That's all. That's all. I right, mean. but then you got to reapply. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, you think I'm going to stop once I've started application? <laughs> okay. I just know. Uh, so apparently, this is actually something that real people are doing. And it's almost like yoga class. And so I immediately thought of you uh, because it's basically a a pose where men are actually like laying on their back and grabbing their feet (laughs) and pointing them up. And then, uh, yeah, a butthole exposure. Can you do that? Probably. I mean, (laughs) to a point. Two more beers. Let's find out. Yeah. Right. Uh, Here's what I love about DDP yoga <laughs> is that it takes the spiritual bullshit out of yoga. <laughs> it's far more intense. Yeah. Uh, there are times when I wish that maybe there would be a little, you know, a uh, little Zen in there that he would throw in. Instead, he keeps it very intense. Uh, so the spiritual bullshit is thrown out. So I don't know about that part of, of yoga. Um, but it's the gate wow. of life and death. Certainly death. Um <laughs> There is more harmful bacteria in human feces than in anything else that we produce. It is poison. <laughs> it, it is absolute fucking poison. If it gets in your blood, it will kill you. And uh, so, yeah, you don't. Um, Fred, are you going to do that? <sighs> How much? <laughs> How much? Shit. I mean, 20 it, bucks is 20 bucks. I bet it would get a lot of likes. All right. Okay. In- Instagram. Ooh, only hands. We can do another. We can do an only hands page about Fred. We can do that. Okay. Yeah. We're just gonna start at only buttholes. Only like? buttholes. Yeah. Okay. I, only think, hole. I think I pull that off. Only hole. Only hole. <laughs> there we go. Jesus Christ. All right. Let's all right. get through. Now we're done with all of the current events. Now we can just have a little bit more fun. That being said, I'm not saying people shouldn't do this. I'm just saying I think they should not. I do don't it. think that there's any scientific proof behind this bullshit that they're saying. <laughs> whatever man it's an actual article i'm not saying it's not an actual article i can write articles too it doesn't make them true <laughs> okay fair enough all right there's well, a whole sh- book written about the moon landing being faked <laughs> it doesn't mean it's true jeremy you and i both know that the moon landing was faked you can't land on it it's 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 flat man no that's the only way you can land oh on okay it. you'll tip over if it, you land on oh, a round okay. surface okay everybody right. knows that fair 
All right, well, that was current events. Now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Uh, in any of the pro- following segments, guys, if you guys have any ideas, you can send them to us, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram and on Twitter, which is at LOT Sidelines. Send us your uh, suggestions, and uh, if we like them, we will put them in the show and give you a shout out. So we're going to start off with the very first one. This one is going to be overrated or underrated sexy Siamese twins. Um, I mean, I'd pay for that show. <laughs> would you? Yeah. That's, uh, I, I always think of the two girls, the, the two girls that, um, they have yeah, that's one, what twins are. no, they have one, they have one pair of legs. So mm-hmm. just two legs, but they, they're Siamese up at the top, like at the, uh, waist mm-hmm. and they're two totally different people. How does that work? Uh, they had they had a TV show, didn't they? They did, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Go watch that and, one now. Well, and they're adults now. They're, yeah. I think, I'm pretty sure they're actually my age. They're in their early 30s or maybe even mid 30s. Um, I, how would you do that? And whose legs, whose bottom half's feeling this? Well, they both are. D- there's no way. Oh yeah. What? Like they each one get? It's all yeah, connected. Yeah, the nervous system I mean, would run from each connected. brain to. Oh, yeah. This is weird, oh, man. Yeah. yeah, nobody's saying it's not. You put it on here. I know. I wanted to see what you thought. You're much more intelligent than I am, so I wanted to see what you said. Well, now I have a bucket list. <laughs> is this it? it? Not Siamese. I I do want to make it with twin hunchbacks. <laughs> okay, but they would not be connected. Oh, that'd be a big hunch, though. That would be. It sure would. I'd put my dick betwixt them. And, <laughs> betwixt them. Uh-huh. And just push them together, lube them up good, and just go to town on do the Humpty Hump. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to say that this is overrated. I do not want to experience this. I will go to the, I will go to a strip club with one of these, but I am definitely not trying to like enjoy this particular event. Fred? Well, Oh, that's why I said under uh, underrated. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I want to be involved, but well, I'm curious. <laughs> and you put the word sexy in there. Yeah. So, so they're hot. I'm already curious. Yeah. Yeah, but you know one of them's a bitch. <laughs> yeah. It has to be. And yeah, you you're going to throw a dollar at her, she shuts up. No, that's not how women work. Trust me. <laughs> I know. I've thrown so many dollars. <laughs> She's always going to have that bitch sister who's trying to tell the other one what an <laughs> asshole you are. And they're never apart. <laughs> I know. Imagine a cock block there all the time. That's basically what it yeah. is. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I mean, and I want to get into the, in the argument between them and be like, no, it's my pussy this week, not yours. Like, I don't want to be in that particular argument. I believe it was Buddy Hackett who talked about any time <laughs> that you are feeling sad and depressed, just think about... The Siamese twin whose brother is gay. <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. And they share an asshole. <laughs> yes. And he's got a date later tonight. That's exactly right. Like, oh, God, that's got to be just absolutely awkward. Okay. Yeah, you know that other sister will not be into anal. No, absolutely not. <laughs> and she can only feel the asshole, too. Mm-hmm. That's even worse. Okay, next one. Overrated or underrated? This comes in from a fan from Twitter. This is at Zach, uh, Stern Zach. So I'm assuming Zach Stern. Uh, he wants to know overrated or underrated? Sitting to pee. Overrated. Okay. Underrated. Uh, underrated. <laughs> Why? Depends where. Depends. What do you mean? Depends where? Uh, hungover in the morning. <laughs> it's great time to pee. <laughs> great time to sit and pee. I, I, I really. Yeah. I I know I no no it's oh, yeah. overrated. No, you don't ever do that. I I totally vote no. That's why we have that there. It's so we can go wherever we want. That's the whole point. It's our job to actually you know give women work and pee on the toilet seat. That's the whole reason why we got to do that. So I'm gonna say it's underrated or no, overrated. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's already wanting to go try it. Um, no, I'm not. I do not want to do this. Drunk, sober, or uh, nothing, or anything else. No. Jeremy? Okay. Are you pooping? <laughs> no. As Confucius once said, <laughs> all poops are peas, but not all peas are poops. <laughs> Correct. But no, you're not pooping. Okay. So just a straight up pee? Just a pee. No. That's, I, I have fun when I stand to pee. <laughs> what I like to do is pinch it and then get... Like, start pushing. It's kind of like power breaking a car when you're drag racing. And then just all of a sudden fucking release like you're sidestepping the clutch. 
<laughs> and just give it hell just to see what kind of fucking rocket jet I can push out. Yeah. It's a fucking pressure And it turns washer. out that's what makes most of the mess is the power of the stream hitting the water and then splashing up onto yeah. the toilet. It's not that I don't have good aim because I have tremendous aim. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's good shit. So, yeah, I like to stand to pee. I I'm not too. lazy. I'm, uh, yeah, me neither. Next one, overrated or underrated? Fat shaming. Underrated. Okay. I, I'm, I'm just going to say underrated. Take it. If you're fat, right. there's a reason. Fred? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Rate, I mean, rated. Uh, rated. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Joseph. God, how real do you want to get on this? <laughs> Let's go, dog. As a, as a fat guy who used to be fatter, um, look, shaming somebody just for being fat is, uh, is overrated. That's fucking low-hanging fruit. Yeah, correct. Um, that being said... The, the definition of fat shaming has changed is it? so much. I mean, if you're concerned for somebody's health. Yeah. You know, or if some fat bitch that you're friends with on Facebook puts her picture in too tight of clothes and you don't comment, hey, looking good, girl. <laughs> some, somehow that's fat shaming. If you oh. don't go out of your fucking way to really, like, tell them that there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it has nothing to do with the way you look. And, yeah. and like I say, take it from a guy who was 300 fucking pounds. The amount of time that I spent at that weight, the damage that I have done to my heart and my lungs and mm. my liver and my knees and ankles and hips, you know, I will be lucky if I make it to 55 before I need a fucking, you know, one of those motorized carts at fucking grocery store. Those would be fun, though. They would be yeah. if... If you don't need them. Oh, okay. If that's your only way to get around, then that's just fucking sad. Yeah. And so while I won't go out of my way to shame someone for being fat, I'm not going to tell you that you look good. That would make me a really shitty friend. And I'm going to go out of my way to try to encourage you, if I actually give a shit about you, I'm going to go out of my way to try to encourage you to do something about it because you can. Very well. Good job. I like Thank that you. answer. Appreciate it. Uh, speaking of which, uh, next one, overrated or underrated, being a jerk to kids. Is there another way to be? Exactly. <laughs> that is the only thing they deserve. Oh, uh, you got to be nice sometimes. When? Yeah, I'm just kidding. You don't. Know, you can be a jerk whenever you want to. Mm -hmm. In fact, they probably it's America, are. God damn it. Fourth of July, Independence Day. Absolutely. Especially being an adult in this particular scenario, you want to be a piece of shit to certain kids, especially if they're not yours. If they're not yours, absolutely be a jerk to them. That's what your responsibility is as an American. Life sucks, and you got to teach certain people a lesson. Fred? Yeah. What? I don't know. You're supposed to add on to that. Oh, I can't. You said it all. Oh, uh, okay. You, like, I was about to stand and salute the flag. Okay, all right. Well, there you go. Uh, Mr. Jamie Joseph? Yeah. What do you think? Um, here's the thing. Uh, unlike you and Derek... I actually find well-behaved children to be delightful. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pleased to be around them. The fact is, though, most children are not. <laughs> and because their parents rarely will step in and do anything about them not being delightful, um, most children go out of their way to be fucking jerks, and the only course of action is to be a jerk back. Uh, I shouldn't have to put up with that shit, and if you as a parent are not going to deal with it, then I'm going to. Very well done. I agree. Uh, and last one, overrated or underrated, ball play during a blowjob. How big are her hands? <laughs> I don't know, buddy. <laughs> Just elaborate on this particular answer because I am genuinely curious because I'm going to say overrated. I, uh, I don't like it. I, they, they are sensitive, God damn it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, uh, well, no, uh, they don't know how sensitive they are. Bingo. So they think of it, and everybody always says, you know, rolling the dice kind of thing. Yeah, even that hurts a little bit. I'm not saying that some guys don't enjoy it and some guys don't. I really don't because if you can just imagine just the slightest... <laughs> wrong movement it turns into a it turns from a really good experience to a terrible one because then your nuts hurt 
So I'm going to say overrated. Fred? Uh, same. I mean, on the fence still. You know, sometimes it's underrated, sometimes overrated. Uh, just depends on her technique. Yeah, or okay. Or his technique, whatever. Whatever. But, We're yeah, inclusive on the show. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, he might be better at it because he knows how sensitive they are. That's probably a good point. So that's the thing. Some one wrong movement. Yeah. I'm done. I bet dudes probably do give the best blow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to. Gonna even try and work my way around that. You need I bet to save too. that question. I know. J sure. Where's JP when you need him? <laughs> well, apparently not invited on this show because <laughs> you don't allow homosexuals. <laughs> Turns out you found out, and uh, yeah, he'd been keeping it a secret this whole time. <laughs> How about you? The Jeremy? worst kept secret. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. In all of podcasting. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Um. Okay, I am overrated on this, okay. but not for the same reasons as you. Okay. It's not that it doesn't feel good. It's that. Pick a fucking lane and stay in it. Okay. I don't need to be stimulated all over. If I get good sensations from two different spots, they kind of cancel each other out, and I can't focus on the main thing that you're doing. Okay, that's fair enough. That. Let's like, hurry up and get it there. Like 69. Like why? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure I'm on the same page here. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. How am I supposed to enjoy this nice blowjob when I'm choking on pubes? <laughs> and the position of it always has my nose right on butthole. Yeah. That really, really it cancels stinks. out all the goodness that's happening. I know. That really stinks, doesn't it there, Jeremy? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to like them, love them, or fuck them. These are particular individuals that do certain things, and we want to know if we like them, we really like them, or uh, fuck those people. So first one, this comes in from Twitter. This is Nathan Ottensman. He wants to know, like them, love them, or fuck them. The person who buys a lotto ticket and stands in the line to scratch it off. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Or grandma, whatever. Or whoever, whoever the fuck it is. You know it's some 80-year-old grandma. Every time. And they're always, like, standing off to the side, but... It, Her you, purse is in the way. It's right. You know it's coming, because once that's, they get that fucking scratch-off done, they're going to cut right in line. Yep. That's, and they will always do it on your lunch hour. <laughs> <laughs> Every I, fucking time. That, Nathan nailed this one. I didn't even, like, I never even really thought about this, how much this absolutely irritates the fuck out of me. This drives me nuts, man. There, there should be a rule at any place that sells lottery tickets, no lottery between 1130 and 1. Okay. That should be the fucking rule. People are there to get lunch. Get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> this but then, is not when dreams are made. This is for sandwiches. <laughs> okay. And cigarettes. Fair. Uh, next one, like them, love them, or fuck them. The person who throws their golf clubs after a string of bad shots. Love this guy. I love this guy. As long as they're throwing their clubs. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I love this guy. This is me. I wrapped exactly. a six iron around a tree once. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? Yes, I did. <laughs> Mine was my putter. Because it was the fucking club's fault. <laughs> it was. Like, yeah. Every time. Where was there a tree at when you were putting? <laughs> shouldn't be any trees no, on the green no i i threw my putter in, in oh uh, i just threw it no i just baseball batted this fucker <laughs> oh, did around you? a tree yeah that poor club what did it do it went in the fucking rough <laughs> oh it went funny. over in the next fairway actually oh okay that's fair enough fucking club it definitely wasn't the person swinging it how about you no. fred i am that guy so, i mean yeah. i have to like him i yeah. mean that, I'm, I'm yeah. golfing with him that's true that's probably why i don't golf anymore I don't know that there's anything that will test your patience as much as a game of golf. That's very true. Uh, it, yeah, it, it's up there. I mean, taking care of a woman on her period is pretty tough, but golf's even worse. Um, next one, like them, love them, or fuck them. The person who spends way too much on fireworks. I fucking love that guy. Uh -huh. It means uh, I don't have to. That's, that's me, it. That's the one. That's where I was going with this. I love that guy. Love that guy. He's the guy you want to hang out with and be friends with mm -hmm. because you get a show and it's free. So I love that guy. Fred? That's me. Yep. That's me. I, but it's and one of my favorite holidays because yeah. I get to blow shit up. That's so right. And I love you. I go crazy and <laughs> blow shit up all night. I, I, yes, you do. And you do a fantastic job. We try. Well, you do. Uh, our, our friend Matt. 
Magnuson. Oh, yeah. Uh, who's been on this show. Mm -hmm. um, the neighborhood that he used to live in, they used to do a big fucking shindig every 4th of July. Everybody in the cul-de-sac. I mean, they spent, it had to be thousands. I'm sure. Of dollars on just those mortar shells. They would put out a big sheet of plywood with just all the fucking tubes out there, and they would just use one until it blew out the side, and then uh, would go on to the next one. And so, yeah at the end of the night they would sweep everything into a pile and burn it yeah in the cul-de-sac yeah. in in the city of wichita yeah and uh it was great one night uh, a bunch of people were standing around and these kids had been acting a fool and their dad who was doing most of the sweeping into the fire was getting on them about some shit and matt had found an unspent mortar and just threw it in the fucking fire <laughs> and 10 <laughs> seconds later that fucking thing just blew and somehow this dad blamed it on those kids <laughs> and just laid into them because <laughs> they were being assholes. And that's a good one, actually, that I'm thinking of. Um, overrated or underrated fireworks mishaps? To who? Any to yourself? Like, have you ever seen it? Like the, oh. those situations wherever a Roman candle gets handed to a kid, and they don't know any better, and they think that the lighting side of the Roman candle is the back, and it's going to shoot out that way, and that is not how they work. I still say the Romans must have had very high ceilings. <laughs> those are big candles. They are big short, candles. short spurts of light <laughs> for you know eight times. Yeah. Got to hand it to those guys. They didn't really know what they were doing. Yeah, but I think they're I think un, they're way underrated because those are some of the best videos like on the internet. Is when something happens, they blow up, and I'm not involved, so I'm good. Have you seen? There's one of a professional fireworks <clears throat> show where something happened and they all went at once. <laughs> oh, great. This just pile of shit. I mean, it is for two minutes straight the most spectacular. <laughs> just. <laughs> Colli collision of shit <laughs> and then done <laughs> this was supposed to be like a half hour fireworks show <laughs> all spent in just a couple of minutes of just pure destruction yes and i would have loved to have been there for that absolutely that would have been a great one that's good uh i'm sorry next one uh we got fourth of july ones apology for accepted <clears throat> yeah fourth of july ones for the remainder of these but like them love them or fuck them the person who rigs up a bunch of fireworks so they all go off at the same time I like it when they don't rig it up and it just happens. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I do. I, li I like doing this with, with uh, fireworks, so I, I like this guy. He, he's, he's redneck engineer. That's why I yeah. like him. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, yeah. I, he's thinking and, and making it fun for everybody. Fred? Oh, I love this guy. I've got a buddy that does it every year. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Buys thousands of dollars fireworks and... Uh, puts them on timers and remotes and oh, strings shit. them together. Uh, he's got a rooftop patio on his house, so we just go up there and he pushes a button. Fireworks. Oh, that'd be that'd be so fucking cool. Oh, yeah. I'm down we, with that. He catches lawn on fire every year. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> How many twenty four hundred dollar jackpots that guy fucking win? <laughs> <laughs> we fucking crazy in this part of the world. Uh, and then Jeremy, obviously this is uh you like this guy. I don't dislike this guy. Yeah. As little kids, my brother and I used to uh, rewire the tanks. You know, those little oh, paper yeah. tanks? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that they would just destroy themselves. Oh, like, that's Turn great. all this shit around inside, put some jumping jacks in there. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it. that was a lot of fun. We just had fires. That's <laughs> Firework fires, huh? Uh -huh. Good shit. And last but not least, like them, love them, or fuck them. The person who uses regular fireworks to make an extremely dangerous homemade firework. Hate that fucking guy. <laughs> Why? Because that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love this guy. I will never forget somebody who made a sparkler bomb in front of me for the very oh. first time. And holy shit. Please tape do a not. Bunch together with electrical, electrical tape. tape. I've heard that that is stronger than an equal size stick of dynamite do not yep. try that at home no. please don't unless you know what you're doing and if you do stand the fuck back or if you're fishing yeah oh man that thing they put a topper of a truck on top of it so it was i mean it blew out the goddamn windows of that, that thing. fucking truck topper due to them <laughs> it was just rust it was a piece of rust in the backyard and we needed something to blow up, and holy shit, neighbors came out of their house wondering what the fuck happened. It was uh, very loud. 
Uh, but very entertaining. Happy Fourth of July, Fred. Uh, oh, I like that guy over there. <laughs> Do that shit over there in a field somewhere, <laughs> yeah. please. Yeah, generally that guy has no sense or concern for anyone around him. No. Any, that's the problem. There is anyone around him. Like, go hurt yourself. I don't care. My, what, uh, what is it? I know I've asked this on this show before. But what is it for grown men about making things blow up that is not only fun, but is fucking hilarious? It, I laugh every time that I blow something up or any time that I shoot something with a gun and it fucking goes. Yeah. I, I, you know, you shoot a fucking watermelon with a 12-gauge shotgun and it just blasts to bits. That, that is better than any Dave Attell show oh, that yeah. I watched. It's so fucking funny, and I don't know why. I don't either. It has to be something genetically ingrained in Just as history. funny the second it's time. It's got to be related yeah. to ejaculation maybe i mean that's a big bang and i do come every for. time i pull the trigger <laughs> 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 okay fair enough but anyways uh, have a safe fourth of july out there everybody that's why i wasn't allowed to go in the military oh is that it yeah they wanted to make me put me on a minigun yeah six thousand rounds a minute and uh yeah you couldn't keep up i i couldn't no. my ejaculation rate was not high enough impressive that's very impressive. and that was me at like 20 oh okay <clears throat> Anyways, all right, let's get to the fun parts of uh, your favorite part of every single episode. This is questions and preguntas. Again, guys, if you have any suggestions, send them to us. We would appreciate it. Uh, first question, rejected Jeopardy categories. I went with laughing on the sidelines. Okay, that's good. I mean. All right. Everybody would be like, who? Who? <laughs> what the fuck is that? What, 19, who gives a shit about T-ball? All right. A lot uh, of people. <laughs> a fucking entire law firm did. Um, offensive racial slurs. That would be mine. Jeremy? Yeah, racial slur rhyme time. That would, <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go with... <laughs> I'm going to go with fuck, marry, kill Hitler's inner circle. <laughs> okay. I like that one. That's good, too. Himmler, yeah. Yeah. Marry him. <clears throat> okay. Uh, next question. When I am president, I will create the department of blank. What? Right. I went with TNA. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I, I mean, like it. You technology have... and agri- uh, architecture? Oh, no. That. That's not the right one. That's not oh. the one I was thinking of. Oh. You don't like architecture? No. Yes, Dude, we need bigger, better we buildings. <laughs> we ain't got nothing on them Romans. <laughs> that's yeah. <true. laughs> that's lost technology, dude. They had candles so high. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I, I think we need to have a department of fireworks. We are behind the Chinese. And we need to get better. They have shit that goes up in the air making like animals and stuff. They can do it better. They can do it cheaper. And we need to catch up. We need to, we catch, need up. to catch up. Speaking of 4th of July, it's a good time to fucking happen. Let's go. So, Jeremy? Uh, carnival workers. Yeah. yeah, Carnies. Yeah. We just need. have their own. Like, like own, It should be a cabinet. Yeah. Position. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Secretary of Carnies. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Who's in charge of the tilt world? Well, I don't know. Whoever the president nominates. I think that should be the number one position, though. Whoever's in charge of the tilt world probably needs to be the Yeah, that's the most universal right at any carnival. If you don't if you don't have a tilt world there, can you even call it a carnival? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't give a shit how many fucking gains you got. I don't care how many things you got where you can shoot water in a clown's mouth. I don't give a shit about your carousel. If you don't have a fucking tilt world, you ain't shit. Hundred percent. Absolutely. My grandma always said, and that's what I stick behind. Right. (laughs) Uh, next question. If Pharaoh did not let Moses and his people go, the next plague would have been blank. Terrible credit scores. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bad, bad credit scores for everybody. So that's mine. Brett? That was a good one. I'm sorry. That was a good one. Yeah. Uh, the first one I came up with was Nazis. Nazis? I mean, I don't just, know. Just don't Nazis know. out of nowhere? <laughs> 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 All those frogs that rain they, down turn yeah. out. They, they <laughs> stand up. Weren't they trying to get away to a different land? Yeah. So yeah. Now, now they're stuck with. Yeah, they. I don't. I don't know. Some well, no, the the Jews wouldn't 
bring Nazis. In. God was on the Jews side. Remember? <laughs> I was say, no, I didn't read that book. <laughs> oh, <laughs> talk about your long time backfires. So yeah, they definitely. Maybe he wasn't. <laughs> uh, they would not let those people you go. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, so no. Uh, okay. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Well, okay. I got a couple here. All right. Um, the firstborn male child is already dead. Right. Uh, so the second male born child in every household would only have aspirations to be a ventriloquist. <laughs> okay. The other would be the smell of hot buttered popcorn. <laughs> Everything Everywhere. would smell like fresh movie theater buttered popcorn, but there is none. <laughs> that would drive you fucking insane. <laughs> Where I want some fucking popcorn. <laughs> There's no concession stand anywhere. <laughs> okay. It's just it, well, for what they know, it's probably just a beautiful fragrance. So they, No, they it makes you like, fucking hungry. That's what it does. <laughs> okay. Popcorn never tastes as good as it smells, but it makes you want but some. Makes you okay. All right. Uh, next question. What's the one thing that makes an elf instantly ejaculate? Uh, I said role playing. Oh yeah, I mean, how do that. elves role play? <laughs> what <laughs> what do they dress up as? Humans. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I get it. It's like a little miniature like cops furry and robbers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Miniature cops and robbers. They put on regular shaped ears over <laughs> yeah. top of their they pointers. Just fold them down. <laughs> they wear <laughs> tuck them in. Baseball caps. <laughs> yeah. Instead of pointy hats. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Reeboks. Right. Um. All right. I put milk and cookies. And the main reason why, that's why Santa doesn't let him go on the, on the trip. That's the whole reason why. Oh. So the, Santa has to go and, and drink all the milk and eat all the cookies. Because if he brings any of that show shit home, it's, it's going to be all bad for the elves. All bad. So what kind of elves did you think of when you first heard that question? <laughs> I, I, I kind of had either Santa or Lord of the Rings elves. I didn't realize which are there very were different things. Races. Way, way different. Yeah, I, yeah. Didn't, I didn't think about Santa elves. You didn't think about Santa elves? No. Oh man! You were straight up Tolkien. Straight up Tolkien. I was. Oh. I was like, should I, the ring? Which doesn't make but. sense because I'm a bigger Lord of the Rings fan than you are. Right, but is it Legend of Zelda? Is he an elf or elf-like? Man, yeah, I don't know. He's elvish. Kind of. Yeah. Okay. The king, elvish. All right. El- El- <laughs> They're in Graceland. Yeah. <laughs> but, and, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. How about you? Well, shit, now I got to go Elvis music. Uh, I was going to say root canals. <laughs> you ain't nothing but a hound dog. Really? That's, Why not? Okay. Why the fuck not? What do you know about elves? They can't walk bow legged. Their legs aren't long enough. Uh, Maybe that's Lord of the Rings way. elves are. Oh, okay. I still am thinking I'm still Santa. Thinking I'm, Santa. <laughs> I'm still thinking Santa's elves. Why does that do that to myself? I don't know. I you don't tell either. me, Scotty. I don't either. Uh, I try every minute of every day to get Christmas out of my head. <laughs> well, that makes the perfect sense. And she just wants to shoot it all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, last question. There is a new trend in China where people combine alcohol with martial arts called blank. Well, I think mine sucks, but I got a Taekwon vodka. Okay. Taekwon vodka. Okay. Just rolls off the tongue better. Okay. All right. Mortal Kombat! With a C. Oh, okay. C. <laughs> you chose to spell right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> MC1 MC. coming to you. That's right. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? I don't know. <laughs> that's what it's called. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I'm drunk. I can't remember. IDK. <laughs> yeah. All my martial arts training is combined with this booze, and I can't remember what the fuck it's called. I, I actually did not come up with anything. Uh, something with 88. <laughs> uh, <laughs> An 88 person tournament. Mm-hmm. Of drinking shots, and man, that whoever won that son of a bitch would be fucked up. Be a tough son of a bitch. Yeah, I always yeah. like. Oh, it'd be well. Chinese don't really have sumo wrestlers. They might. They might. There's, they there's American ones. Yeah, absolutely. And they. Yeah. One of them actually went over and did pretty good, as far as I I know. Yes, my my wife actually knows his wife. Okay. 
Pretty uh, solid. Ken, God damn it, I can't think of it. Something Hawaiian. Doesn't matter. Something, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's questions and preguntas. If you have any suggestions for any of those previous uh, segments, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or at LOT Sidelines on Twitter. Now we get to move on to one of the most popular parts of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines uh, draft. Um, we, uh, well, I won last week, by the way. <laughs> I won. <laughs> I gave myself that standing ovation. Thank you guys very much. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we so many people were just up. like, I can't the believe it. The sun them. shines <clears throat> on a dog's melanin-coated butthole. <laughs> Twice yeah. a day. Uh, twice Every a day. now and then. Every now and, and that's then. what happened. Uh, but yeah, I did win last week's draft and, uh, I, I was going up against JP and Mike. So I, fuck, I better have won. What was the subject? Um, what was the sh- subject? I'll have, I'll have to pull it up. I'd be interested to know this. <laughs> um, son of a bitch. I can't even. Cause if it was it. just like dumbest things to say, I could <laughs> I, see how you could just blow the competition. I, away I, I would run away with that one. No, it was the game. We did a game show draft. Uh, I know we've done that one before, but I still didn't come out with uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. God damn it. But um, I still ended up winning with American Gladiators. So that was that. Hmm. Uh, anyways, uh, but this week's draft, uh, I am going to take the championship picks as I should because I earned it. Uh, Jeremy is a uh, long life member of this particular podcast, so he gets the sandwich picks. And Clayton, being the guest, he gets the uh, first pick. And this uh, week's draft is going to be our least favorite vacation activities or the worst vacation activities. So, Fred, you get your first pick of the worst vacation Jeez. activities. There's, there's so many. <laughs> there's so, so many. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm about to come out strong with uh, walking tours. Okay. Where you go to Boston and follow a guy with a red flag around town. Okay. Yeah, that would suck. I'd rather just do it on my own. Okay. That's that's fair. Uh, Jeremy, your first one. Okay. How broad are we getting with this? Uh, pretty broad. We're going to okay. have to. <clears throat> Anything that involves air travel. Okay. Go- uh, going activities? anywhere. Well, I mean, that's something you have to do. If you go somewhere on vacation, you have to fly sometimes. Okay. If you got to fly somewhere, dude, that is a vacation is supposed to be relaxing, and air travel is the most fucking stressful, I see where strenuous you're going. bullshit. I see where uh, you're going with this. It can ruin the whole fucking vacation. It really can. It absolutely Before can. Before you even get there. That's Whoever right. said getting there is half the fun was full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to go with my, my first pick. And that is going to be scuba diving. Shit. <laughs> fuck uh. you. I am never going to do this ever in my life. Why? I'm going to make you. No, you days. are not going to yep. fucking do it. I know. I've seen me in a pool and somehow fabricate with my mind the vague shape of a shark. And it's coming right at me, and I say, fuck that. I'm out of the water. I'm not going to fucking do it. I dream about that happening to you. Oh, God. It's so terrifying. So I am not going to go scuba diving. And uh, the next one I'm going to pick on my list is I did not go on vacation someplace to go fucking hiking. I am not going to hike up of a goddamn mountain. That is not a vacation. That's a goddamn workout. So hiking can suck it. That's a good one. Thank you. Uh, Jeremy, your next pick. Whitewater rafting. Ooh. Really? Really. I don't like to get unnecessarily wet. (laughs) If I get on a boat, it's because I don't want to be wet. Okay. (laughs) I'm going to get wet. (laughs) All right. I might fall out of the boat. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to get really wet. All right. And I don't mean in a horny way. Okay. All right. Uh, Fred, you get two back to back. Back to back. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the, the... the beach, like yeah, the beach bundle, be- and just, just sitting there and sunbathing, and yeah, beach tanning. Yep, yeah, I fucking hate people that do that. It's such a waste of fucking time. Yeah, it, it, like 
I mean, they do some activities on the beach. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Like, I'll go and I'll, I'll go like at two feet of water and that's it. But at least the beach can be fun. But people that just lay out on the beach, I don't fucking get it. Don't when, get it. When we went to Florida in February, it, it costs so much to go to Universal Studios that it's like we were sitting there basically trying to get the most out of our vacation dollar. Mm -hmm. So it's like every second that we weren't at the park trying to do something we felt like was just money down the toilet. And so you're constantly trying to just get, go, get go, to play. Go. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you can't enjoy it and relax. No. If I wanted to relax, I'd just stay home. Yeah, exactly. All right. You get one more there, Fred. Uh, 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 let's do the uh, travel by bus. Ooh. I don't think I want to ride on a bus with 60 other people. Yeah, around bus the country. trip. That's true. That would suck. They still make buses? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Greyhound, man. Greyhound still exists. Jeremy Joseph, your third pick. Uh, going to see a monument. Oh, I would do that. Like going to see Mount Rushmore? Oh, I'd do that. It would be neat for a second. Yeah. See, and yeah. then you're there in South Dakota surrounded by nothing. Oh, nothing. I don't care. I'd love it. It's, I mean, but, if I got a motorcycle, that would be the first place I'd go. Well, that's different. Yeah, because I'm yeah. talking about just driving your whole family to go look at a mountainside carving of faces. Okay. And once you've seen it, you've seen it. And it looks just like the fucking pictures mm -hmm. that you've seen. From what I hear, it's not nearly as big as what you would think. Oh, no. It's significantly smaller than what I've been told. And um, so it's it can do nothing really but disappoint. Yeah. And most likely it's just going to be a neutral thing. Like, yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, this is kind of how I felt, too, um, like with the St. Louis Arch. Boy, that thing sure is there. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> yeah, fuck. All of those. Fuck that. If, I mean, the nice thing is you're in St. Louis, so there's other shit to do in St. Louis. There's right. Bush Gardens and SeaWorld and other shit to do. Um, but if you just went to see the arch, mm -hmm. great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that. 600 feet of steel and concrete. Right. Um, Half a McDonald's. Yeah, son of a bitch. Um, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, fuck. I got two. So I want to go with. Ah, uh, no. I don't want to step on your on your deal. Um, I'm gonna say first. My first pick is to go to some kind of convention. So that uh, I Comic -Con mean, Con. Yeah, exactly. Like that. Like I don't want to go to a Comic Con for a. Um, a vacation kind of thing. First of all, there are probably some I that are close. That, I think. Well, here's the thing. If you're going to like a, another city, like a big city to go to one of those, you probably find one that's a little bit closer and I'm not using vacation time for that shit. So that's, that's that. Uh, but the next one that I'm definitely going to do, you know why you don't want to go? What? Cause you're racist. <laughs> is that what right. it is? Mm -hmm. Thanks man. Uh, no, I'm going to go, I'm going to go bungee jumping. I am not going to do that on my vacation. I'm going to shit myself, and that is not going to be a fun vacation. You want to be on the clock for that, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what, yeah. that's what yeah. I get. That's what I have the insurance that, to work on. Is that in so. your job description? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to get out of that particular situation there, Jeremy, so I got to shit myself. Okay. So, yeah, no, I do not want to do the bungee jumping deal because they, they do have them in frequent places, and I don't want to do it. So, no, thank you. Uh, Jeremy, you get your fourth pick. Staying at a bed and breakfast. <laughs> okay. Is there anything more uncomfortable <laughs> than you are in someone's quaint home <laughs> while they cook and clean for you? <laughs> not not like a maid service and not like a an industrial motel or hotel yeah. that you know you can just shut the door. You're expected to participate in the sure. shit. You're you're expected to come down for dinner and you know the meal, whatever breakfast, I guess. Uh, yeah, uh, what wasn't it? Mitch Hedberg talked uh, about across uh -huh. the street. He wanted to invent a chair lunch dinner. Yeah. Nope, I hear well, you. you can get there as bed and breakfast. <clears throat> yeah. But no, it just seems like it, there would be nothing fun about it. Yeah. It would I, be like staying with your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Clayton, you get your last two, dude. Uh, pub crawl. Damn it. That's a yes. great pick. Fuck. You wouldn't want to do that? No. No. Maybe in Ireland. Uh, maybe in Ireland I would do it. Do you know it. how many pubs are in Ireland? Shitloads. All of them. Yeah, <laughs> all of them. They're all there. 
Every one of them is I, called the Blarney Stone. I, I want to go to one and have fun. I don't want to go get fucked yeah, up. Yeah, what if you found a really anyone. cool bar? You're like, dude, I want to stay. Time to go. Uh, <laughs> fuck load that. Up. Yeah, that's a good one. God fuck damn it. I can't believe I didn't think of that. That's a great, great pick. Uh, uh, all gonna, right. I'm going to wrap it up with the, uh, I don't know what you call them, but like the, the candid photos, the stupid photos of holding up the Leaning Tower. Oh, or fuck. Jumping off Niagara Falls or yeah, hanging off the cliff. One. Yeah, they're candid photos. Yeah, Man, I don't that's, ever want to do that shit. I, I don't either, but you're going to. I'll take a picture by the Leaning Tower. I'm not going to hold the some bitch up. I, I, dude, I'm going to call it right now. Yes, you will. If I do it, you're going scuba diving. No, fuck no. <laughs> I'm not saying you're going to because I want you to. I'm saying you're going to do it and not even you know it. You just willed it into the universe. No, so. no, 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 no. Absolutely not. Uh, Jeremy Joseph, your last and final pick. Uh, going to like a dude ranch. <laughs> you fuck? don't like city slickers? What is wrong with Could you? Could you imagine anything worse? No. Uh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of things. I would yeah. love to do Other that. than AIDS? Oh. AIDS would be worse than yeah, going it would to be a dude worse. ranch. Yeah, but yeah, other than worse. that, having your ass so sore from riding a fucking horse, because if you're not used to doing that, sure. and you have to do that days on end, that is going to beat the shit out of you. Yeah. Uh, you're going to find out that it's not like a traveling hotel. There are no showers. Yeah. You do have to eat whatever the fuck they cook for you. Sure. That you are out in the middle of nowhere. So if you get sick or anything, you're just fucked. Just sun your butthole. So do they just call that a horse and breakfast? or Yeah. And lunch and dinner. And lunch oh, and okay. dinner. You, you actually eat the horse for dinner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when you're you done. to. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, that's crazy. Yeah, it's basically, um, hey, we're a cattle farm and we don't want to hire people. How about mm -hmm. you pay us to come work our fucking cows for us? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. I, if, if I wanted to work, I wouldn't go on vacation. <laughs> okay. Dude ranches can lick my balls. I Not do. while they're sucking my dick, though. Okay. You either go balls or dick, dude okay. ranch. All right. I've got pizza ranch on the other hand. I love it. I almost, I almost want to take away the convention one right now because I've got two Too that I, I, I know, I know you let me do it the other day. Uh, You're going to lose either way. Yeah. I am. I'm definitely going to lose. Um, I've got two. I, I've definitely got two that I, I really honestly don't want to do this anymore. Uh, I don't want to over drink, right? Cause mm -hmm. I don't want to drink way too much and then end up, passing out and missing yeah. the actual vacation mm -hmm. so that's going to be my pick because i'm being honest but i've never been on one and i don't know if i ever want to go on one unless it's in alaska but going on a cruise mm. uh, i'm gonna take the over drink but I, I want that's one that i'm questioning because i've never been on a cruise but i've heard it's either it's either a home run or a strikeout mm -hmm. you know what i mean oh yeah so it's I've like been on the one yeah and, and i've heard good stories and bad stories i've heard i've heard the ones that were awesome everything was was great there was so much shit to do we made friends with these people from another fucking state woohoo that's that sounds great but i've heard other ones where it's like everybody was sick everybody got sick it was oh, yeah. miserable. The the accommodations were shit. It mm -hmm. was storming out when we were out on the ocean, and it was terrifying. Yeah, you can't go anywhere. You can't. You're stuck. Well, uh, from what I understand, most cruises they they like dock every day, yeah. and you, you get you off, and it, it's just a fucking tourist trap. They oh, basically yeah. take you from one tourist trap to the next oh, tourist yeah. trap. Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I'm off, and they rape you. But I'm. That's gonna, what I've heard. Yeah, that's how they do things because maritime law applies, yeah. and that is the law. Uh, the captain of the ship is allowed to rape. Yeah, absolutely. It's like the king of England. It's the same law. They they can test drive the 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 car. Mm -hmm. Oh, prima nocta. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That was never really a thing, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is our draft for our worst vacation activities. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for whoever has the best list. Oh, uh, yeah. Go on a submerged Titanic tour. <laughs> oh, fuck. That, that would suck. How did we not do that? Yep. Son Missed of that. a bitch. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, yeah, we can't take it anymore, but. That's gonna probably I don't think be. it's actually a thing that you can do unless you're a millionaire, but yeah, but that's that's definitely a bad idea. And all but one of them have worked out okay. Yeah, right. 
Oh, God. But anyways, you can also go to Twitter, which is at LOT Sidelines, and vote that way. Uh, we would appreciate that. If, you do, if you're not following us on Twitter, please go over and do that. That looks like where a lot of the stuff's going to start moving. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Shitty Situation of the Week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. On October 31st, that's Halloween, of uh, 1963, uh, 4,000 people gathered in the Indiana State Fairgrounds to watch a Holiday on Ice performance. Ooh, yeah. Unbeknownst to the audience and the performers, uh, tanks of liquefied petroleum gas were being illegally stored in the supply room underneath the grandstands, one of which was leaking. Uh, approximately 11 p.m. that night, the uh, gas came into contact with a heating element from one of the concession stands, causing a huge explosion. Nice. 54 people were immediately killed and lots of damage. However, a lot of them would succumb to injuries later on, bringing the entire death toll to 81 with over 400 severe injuries. And now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. <laughs> Legos, fuck the holidays on ice or otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Jeremy. <Thank> you. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Well, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is... Would you rather spontaneously ejaculate or only ejaculate when someone tugs on your balls firmly? Oh, firmly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Give your balls a tug. Mm. <laughs> That's mm. a weird kind of masturbating. You know what I'm saying? Sure is. Yeah. That, that, you got it. I mean, that painful, man. But I'm going with that. That's <laughs> that what you do it. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to just spontaneously ejaculate? No, I don't. I, I can't control that. On the other hand, I'm be like, start me like a weed eater, baby. That's right. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. That's weird. Too strong. I don't ever want to hear that. Again. <laughs> that's the sound of my weed eater. Guys, I don't know what you thought that was. That's the sound of my weed eater. Oh, man. that's what it was? Mm? Oh, thank God. Did you guys not know that? No. No, no, no I don't no. want to know. That used to be better at impressions. I don't want to know what your O noise is. So uh, I I think the spontaneously ejaculate can really get you into trouble. Imagine you're a fucking volunteer or you're going to give like a pep talk at an elementary school somewhere and all of a sudden that happens. Yeah, that's bad. So I, I am also going to go with, uh, you know, give your balls a tug. God, that's going to be painful, though. So that's that's me. Yeah, but followed by a lot of pleasure. Yeah, I mean, but you're done. You get used to it. I, but, but my whole thing is if you get the tug-tug, uh, you're done. Right, but you can go as long as you want. <laughs> that's true. That. That's exactly. true. This is maybe actually a good <laughs> this thing. This is not a shitty situation at all. <laughs> <laughs> Until she charges by the hour. Yep, that's it. Just a good tug, tug, and you're done. We're by the tug. Yeah, that's right. How about you, Fred? I'm going with tug all the way. Those are going to be yeah. some fun positions to <laughs> yeah. keep her hands away. Yeah. For as long as possible. It's a new fun way of keep away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Because i got to think, if you can just spontaneously come, like you have no choice over, most of those times are probably going to be when you are wearing pants. Yeah. And then... Could you imagine wearing like tight underwear with that sensitive head afterwards? Oh no! <laughs> or wearing anything afterwards? Yeah, really, yeah. really. You would have to. You would definitely have to leave. That's a well. That's a way to get out of certain situations. Yeah. But you can't control. But it. But you can't control it. That's the problem. Might get you Damn. out of situations you don't want to get out. Of. <laughs> that's true. Uh, Robbing a bank. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jizz in your pants. Oh, dude, dude. <laughs> dude <laughs> really <laughs> love larceny. Evidence. You're leaving DNA behind as well. So that's always bad. I think your pants would probably contain <laughs> most of it. You never know, Jeremy. Maybe it's been a while. And they can't get DNA as long as you're wearing pantyhose on your head. <laughs> oh, is that right? That's science. That's dude. science. Huh? Same, as long as you get good sunshine on your butthole. <laughs> and then, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I believe that's how that works. <laughs> All right. Fair All right. enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Well, thank you guys both very, very much. I appreciate, Jeremy, you coming back, even though you don't ever want to. Uh -huh. 
Uh, but I appreciate my brother Fred. Thank you very much Thanks for, for having me again. Yep, I I do appreciate it. And I know I think uh, I think Derek is finally back next week. I'm not 100 percent sure, but he's doing the baseballs, so uh, he can't be here for every episode. One thing for both uh, yeah. Derek and I. Yeah, uh, July the 12th. Yep. Uh, have, have you talked about this on the we show? We have a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will. Uh, it's going to be the last like local show at the Looney Bin. Uh, sadly, about a year ago, the owner of the Looney Bin died, and his wife has no interest in keeping the business going. And uh, the some people have bought the the location, and they have no interest in keeping it a uh, a comedy club any longer. Wow. And so I don't know what they're going to do with it, but it's not going to be a comedy club. And so uh, July, that weekend, will be the last show ever for the Looney Bin. But Mm -hmm. Wednesday, July the 12th, um, they have put together kind of a special open mic. And they've asked some of the local comedians who kind of made their dent in there. And I'm very honored that they asked me to be a part of it. I, I didn't do it for very long, and I haven't done it for... Five years now, I mean, on a regular <clears throat> basis, but apparently I made my mark on it enough to where they want to have me come back. And so I'm, I'm very appreciative. And so I'm going to go back and I think there's 25 comedians wow. Wow. on That's the list, good. each doing five minutes. But, uh, you know, some of the people who have been on the show, I'm going to be on there. Derek's going to be on there. Uh, Eric J- Von Riker. JP. JP's going to be on there. Megan Welch is going to be on there. Um, who else have we had on here? Uh, Dan. Dan the Man, of Dan course. The man. Uh, how, uh, Dan you, man. how dare you forget I don't know. Dan the Man? I don't know. Oh my but God. Uh, yeah, we all get to kind of, that's, that's where I did my very first open mic. And so I'm going to be very sad to see it go. And yeah. uh, I kind of developed my, honed the craft there, yeah. I guess, for, for however short a time I did it. But uh, it'll be nice to be able to go one last time and say goodbye. I believe the show is sold out, but they've always got some standby seats so if you just show up and put your name on the list you might get in and if nothing else if you appreciate local comedy and you happen to be in the wichita area that night come up we'll probably all be in the lobby because there's a fire code that (laughs) so most of the comedians unless they bought tickets won't be allowed to go into the showroom except for when they're performing so most of us will be out in the lobby so come say hi so come say goodbye yeah uh, and, and the best part is, is I did not actually purchase tickets, so I don't know if I'm going to be there. So you can actually go and possibly meet Jeremy, Derek, JP, everybody except for yeah. me and Fred. <laughs> I mean, you can come up that night. I, I, have, I but, probably can, yeah. But uh, no, it's it's sad to see it go. It, it is. It's, it's really shitty. I got actually contacted by a, uh, a traveling comedian who I really do like. Um, I don't want to get his name out there or anything like that, but... Um, I, he was he, it Bill Burr? No, it wasn't Bill Burr. Oh, he travels. D- he does not as often. Uh, Who else travels? Was it Louis uh, Anderson? No, it was. that'd be fucking weird. That would be weird. Um, he dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why that'd be <laughs> that's weird. Why, I know. Uh, but no, he, he contacted me, and, and yeah, he's another TikTok personality that's moving up in the ranks and stuff like that. And contacted me and said, "Hey, uh, you know, do you uh, have any recommendations of the you know your area?" And I had to unfortunately say it's like the the one that we normally call our comedy club is now leaving. So there are still a lot of yeah. local venues who are friendly to local comedians right. to do shows. But, you know, really, if you wanted to be a part of a real professional show, you know, getting to host at the Looney Bin was kind of the closest us locals got to come do it. And I got to do that several times. I know Derek's done it several times. Derek's on uh, off weekends. He's a. Uh, gotten to be a headliner there so yeah. i mean it's it's done a lot for us and uh sorry to to see bigs go and i'm yeah. sorry to see you know the staff up there is very friendly and it's just a nice place to come and uh sucks yeah but, it does but that's also kind of what this show is mainly for it's supposed to be getting actual comedians that we like and that we want to give some some time so uh, I mean, we may, we why may, are you here? I guess because because I paid for all the equipment, jackass. Mm. Um, but no, hopefully that also means that some of the comedians that are in this group of friends that we have, uh, we might get some new uh, new people on. Like I, I know I've wanted to have Wiz on for you know several times. Mm-hmm. Um, he's one of the guys, and uh, he's got so. several other jobs around here, so I don't <laughs> think he's going anywhere. So right, yeah, we'll still be able to get him. But but there's going to hopefully be some comedians that that draw interest that that we like, and so if that ends up being the case it does but uh it's really sad to see the looney bin go but uh but anyways guys 
We really do appreciate the show, uh, doing the show for you guys. Uh, thank you very much for helping the show continue to grow. I know there's a lot of new listeners out there, and uh, we're happy to have you. Um, we always say, guys, uh, do us a favor if you like us and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... I hope your firstborn male child wants to be a carny and grows up with a plank-length penis. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, open up and take a lick. <laughs> That's Oreos, by the way. <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs>